Oh, we have another start where we get a triple to begin with. Okay, so let's grab the two nightingales and these will shred through these boars and then... Do I want the Bangar or the Witch Doctor? I think early I actually want the Bangar. He's actually... It gives me early furry and warrior combos and both of those are strong in the early game, so I will grab Bangar. And obviously once we beat the boars, we two-star Nightingale for the next round. It's such an infrequent thing to occur, but both of our starts on, on this stream so far have given us a uh, two-star hero in the first round. Fascinating. All right, there's the Nightingale. Won't use those on anyone just yet. I don't know if it triggers anyone else, but I can't... I do not like seeing it say new on that item chest, so I always have to open and close it. There's another warrior. Uh, we'll always grab warlocks when we see them because they're quite strong. And we'll grab famine as well for now. Um, so we'll put out... We'll put out these two. Strong individual units until we come up with some sort of composition. I'll grab totem face here as well just because it will give us early goblin synergy. What are we looking at? What are some other people looking at so far? And the queen is not rocking any combos currently. Hmm. Ooh, we had some decent, decent items from that. Fantastic. It's rare that uh, I start off with the first two rounds getting that many items. Six items in total. Awesome. I think the most I've ever had from the first two rounds was seven items, and that was actually earlier today. Um, I didn't grab the piece I said I was going to, but I will grab both those Marsh Lords, and we will level here. Uh, we probably want another tank out at this stage, so everything's kind of solid, so I think we'll set up like that. Everything's around... 2k health, thereabouts. Obviously, Nightingale's got a bit more. Um, what do I want to equip this stuff on, though? I'm not sure I want to put any of it on anything just yet. Maybe we'll uh, we'll give her the dagger and the greatsword when we get to level 6. Now, we would like another warrior at this point as well. Are we going to win this? Yes. All right, so those two crystals are obviously quite nice. Ooh, ooh. Two Stalker Drones. Definitely grabbing both those. Definitely going to do that and that. Um, so we will actually... We'll take off Bangar here. We will... Ah, I, I missed my positioning a little bit there. We're going to set up like that. Uh, that's nice. Still save the other items. We'll obviously level next round. Hopefully we can get the win here. This is going to be close, actually. We need a few critical hits from our Stalker drone. With a little bit of luck. All right, that should be enough now. Our young frog did well for us. Stalker drone surely can finish the job. There it is. Grab that other Bangar too, actually, before he vanishes. Um, now, we've got... All right, I'll grab Hog Rider for the Hunter package, just in case we go that direction. Uh, we level here, and... Let's go ahead and chuck Hunters out. Hopefully, we avoid assassins for now because our backline's a little bit exposed. Ouch. Can we kill off the Bionic Ninja before he kills... No, he killed our Famine. Okay, Stalker Drone survives, which is the important piece. So that should help us win this one. How are we doing on other boards? We're going to lose there. Definitely need to two-star a few more heroes now. Hey, Warren, welcome to the stream, mate. Yeah, it is, uh, it's almost 7 p.m. here, and I, typically I don't actually stream this time. Uh, normally I try an earlier stream, so it is evening in the U.S., but uh, definitely glad you could make the stream. Thank you for stopping by. 
This is probably one of the worst times to be streaming in terms of uh, Australia, but I just felt like jumping on, so why not? Um, what are we going to add in next? We haven't really figured out where we're going with this composition just yet. I guess we'll put Puffer back in just for the, uh, the body. Hopefully next round we can find ourselves another warrior, which would be nice. Obviously I will level again when that takes place. Uh, we will give the resistance cloak to Stalker Drone as well. Everything else is just hanging on to for now, because I still don't know what I'm going to be selling, to be honest, where I'm going to be going with this. Uh, actually, I almost certainly will be selling Nightingale. Although, although I say that and we just grabbed two Devourers, so I'm definitely going to grab both of those for now. Let's level and let's chuck the Devourer out, uh, which means, how do I want to adjust this? I'm going to actually backline our Hog Rider because he's got the range that he can actually shoot. So any any unit that is placed in front of Marsh Lord, theoretically, all three of these will, will attack that unit and will be uh, quite damaging. 5 a.m. right now. So are you waking up or going to sleep? Sounds like you're going to sleep. You gotta get up early for work, maybe. So thankfully that hog rider at the back line protected our carriers from those assassins, which was great for us. Still don't really want to sell anything because I, I could still use, move into warriors if I end up finding some decent elites. We definitely want to grab Kraken though. And mm, she's actually immediately going to replace Famine. Um, okay, what I'm going to do now is actually sell Banga. We could run six hunters possibly. Um, I will frontline her as well. I'm going to set up like that. Uh, give her the two starves for sure. Actually, we'll give him the two tomes while he's on the board. He doesn't have any items, so I don't have to sell her. This is going to be... This is fun. I really like games like this where you're at this point in the game. We're actually doing really well. Until that round, we hadn't lost a single round. Uh, but we haven't made a decision. We haven't committed to any endgame build yet. Obviously, we need to do so soon. But it's nice when you're in a position that you don't actually have to force anything. What are other people building at this stage? No one's got sort of end game builds yet either, really. You can kind of see where they're going, but they haven't achieved the uh, the end game stuff. Ah, yeah, you gotta get up early for that then. <laughs> I'm not a morning person at all, so uh, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely glad that I'm not the one having to get up early. Uh, so we, we're enjoying the Punisher package. We just haven't found any demons yet. We don't really want any of that. We will level here, try and get back on a win streak. Throw her back in. Um, we'll go this side. We'll set up like this. So I've got to figure out whether I'm going to keep those for now. Uh, if we win this, we don't have to sell. If we lose this round, I will sell one of them. Just to get that interest. We're going to win, so we don't have to make that decision yet, which is nice. Uh, and then we'll have creeps. How are we looking? We're playing against the top player here, and we're going to win on their board as well. So our super sketchy build is coming together quite nicely so far. Shakaraka would be another key piece for us if we're looking for hunters. And then fire fur... Ooh. I mean, I just grab her for now. So I can actually, once again, just throw her in here. Um, I'm not going to bother changing positioning here. I think we should win this one, no worries. So what's the other... Um, Oh, of course, Forest Breath. Forest Breath is actually the... Forest Breath and Shakarak would be the two other hunters we're looking for if we end up going that way. Um, you know what? I'm going to sell one of him now just so I get this interest again. I think I'm not going... If I'm going Warriors, let's just sell both, actually. If I'm going Warriors at this point, it will be the Elite Warriors. 
awesome. So I don't really have to worry about, he's, he's quite a nice unit, but uh, I'm not gonna use him in this build. You ever try cornering when using drone? Yeah, sometimes I do. Um, I usually adjust once a couple of people are eliminated. When we still got all eight, I typically don't. Let's level here. Uh, so we'll chuck her in until we figure out what we're doing. Uh, don't want any of that. I definitely want Nether Prince. Grab Hog Rider. We'll go all the way down to zero. I want the Executioner as well. So let's go ahead and throw the Execution. No, we'll throw... Oh, I didn't get Nether Prince in in time. Nether Prince will be the one that I end up going with um, until I open up another position on the board. So I don't think I'm going six Hunters here. We're going to use a, the Punisher package that we've been given. The three Warriors... Three Hunters that I've got, I will stick with. Uh, I like the goblins, especially with punishers and hunters. The goblin speed attack boost is quite nice. Uh, Misfortune is pretty decent too. Uh, so, <laughs> Misfortune is actually real nice for us. Let's replace Joey. That gives us four warlocks. Uh, and I will... Let's actually sell her off now because she's not going to be the way we end up moving forwards. Um... Level 10 will be Executioner at this stage. Anyone else that naturally suits defensive armor? Let's just go ahead and preemptively give it to Executioner. Uh, we'll look to get to level 10 at round 15, throw Executioner in, which will max out Punisher. And that will most likely be our endgame build, though we do just lose to what? Another Punisher build. That's all right. I'm not worried about that at this point in time. He has more two-star heroes. I think we come back and beat him. We're still on 35 health. All right. Um... Yeah, I could, I could take that out, but I... <laughs> Ooh, hello, shop. That was amazing for us. Um, let's go ahead and frontline him. Now, this is where I can look at adjusting positioning now. So... Let's set up like that for now. Now, if you got any tips for me in terms of positioning, definitely let me know, because that is the weakest part of my game. I know you like the uh, the corner and one, as Devil called it, and he's, uh, you go Punisher over four Warlock. Uh, at this point in the game, that's probably a good point, actually. I probably should just chuck him in over the Voodoo Elder at this stage. Actually, no, it'd be the Marsh Lord, so we keep Goblin. Um... See, I could... No. Oh, he's such a good unit, but I'm not doing that. All right. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. Punisher at this stage. When we get to level four, I may could use Guru on Kraken at this point too. Um, spin down to 30 here. Let's go ahead and do it. Just to play safe. I didn't frontline her in time. That was super close. I really want Kraken frontline, but uh, it'll happen next round. This is a close one. I think we get the win though. Stalker drone coming in clutch. Devourer there putting in a ton of work as well. Okay. We're once again matched up against number one and we win again. So we're looking very strong now. Let's swap their positions. We don't want anything there. Our 10th hero will either be Marsh Lord or Void Doom at this point in time. So he's essentially a placeholder for Void Doom. So I don't... Uh, I don't really want to two-star him, but I will if I have to, because I might just never find Void Doom. And in terms of other upgrades, Shakaraka would be nice, but I, I kind of don't want to lose Goblin, given that... We're going with Punisher, Hunter, which are both super damaging um, type units. I could have actually given that Sword to Nether Prince as well, but once I'm kind of committed, I just want to max them out. Um, it's not the legendary I want. Uh, so we obviously level up here. Marsh Lord goes back in. 
We'll set up like that. And now we're looking for Void Doom and two starring. Oh, we'll grab both of those, obviously. Three starring him would be amazing. We will two star that for now until we find Void Doom. That's big. That's big. That's also fantastic. That was an incredible round in terms of shock. Kraken, Worth Guru, and Frontlining her. All right, that's awesome. So, for those others that are watching the stream that don't know, Auto Warrior. So, firstly, click on his name and go and follow him on Twitch. Uh, we just lost big time to the other Punisher build. Player defeated. We just once we up our value, though, I think we still beat him. Um, go and follow Auto Warrior on Twitch and on YouTube. He's a top-tier chess rush player, much better than I am. So it's nice to have an in-game decision like that validated. Uh, so let's actually frontline her as well now. We want our tankier ones on the outside, so we'll actually do that. Um, I kind of want to just have him down here as a distraction for other assassins, potentially. So we're still... Looking for Doom. Nothing in that, sh in that shot, but the last shot was so incredible. I didn't defeat them. They submitted willingly. Can we find Void Doom this time around? Um, I actually missed how we went then. I was, okay, so we got the win and everyone else lost. So whoever we mash up again, we actually beat. Um, we're just being super aggressive. We're still looking for Void Doom here. Oh yes, one more of him would be amazing. One more of him would be absolutely incredible. Let's actually do that. Although... Hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely wrapped that you are starting to uh, create content though, so it's always nice to have Oh, this is the this is our biggest opponent at this point in time, and we won comfortably, as I expected. So we're looking pretty good now. Hopefully number one takes an L. Yes, a big L. That'll move us into first place. Getting very close to the end game here. Four left. All right. Yeah, absolutely stoked that uh, you're making content because it just means that I'm going to be able to get better at the game. So that's pretty selfish of me, but that's the reality of it. It's awesome to have top-end talent creating content for the masses to uh, to get better and better. We definitely want that guru. Uh, that guru actually means that I can do this, which is great. Um, so I want to reconfigure this just a little bit. Let's move him back. Oh, that's fine. That's totally fine. Bit of damage coming out of these cyborgs though. What's he running? He gets full six, six cyborg, four engineer. We are too strong for that though. We get the win on this board as well, eliminating that opponent. And it's gonna be, oh no, still three alive, just. There is Void Doom, fantastic. That is going straight in. A one-star Void Doom is better than a two-star Marsh Lord. There is no doubt about that. Um, yeah, I'm okay with that positioning at this point. Oh, yeah. I, I uh, When you say I helped heaps, I think you're definitely, um, or a ton, I think you're uh, overselling it a touch. But uh, when I was getting into it, into this content creation industry, uh, I got helped by those that knew what they were doing. So definitely happy to pass that knowledge on. What little knowledge I have. It's just awesome to see uh, the community grow at the end of the day. Uh, we definitely want to equip that. We'll max out out of Ara. Awesome. That's real good for us now that he's got a ma maxed out tome. Okay. Uh, oh, we missed the... That's my bad. I got distracted and missed the Guru. Ouch. Hopefully that doesn't cost us the three star... I cannot believe I forgot that guru. Uh, yes, we want that. Come on. All right, there's another guru. So it didn't cost us, thankfully. But obviously we need one more nether prince. That three-starring nether prince will be massive for us. 
To be honest, I'm not sure that we actually need it, but that just absolutely guarantees the win. Void Doom putting in big work. As are our two carries, Devourer and Stalker Drone. There is one killed and there is another killed. That's the game. We didn't end up two-star or three-starring our Nether Prince. We didn't need to. Uh, we wouldn't have been able to. That Guru didn't cost me doing that because we just didn't find another Nether Prince anyway. Although, technically, I could have grabbed two Gurus and a Druid and uh, leveled him that way. But uh, anyway, we got the win. At the end of the day, that's the important thing. We got the win. We level up to Queen 3, which is great. That was a really fun build, actually. So we ended up, what were we rocking? Four Warlocks, four Punishers, with a, a few other things sprinkled in there as well. Let's send off the Nuts to the rest of the top four. And we solidly beat six Warrior, six Cyborg, and another Punisher build. Would have been interesting to see how we fared against a, a Max Rider build, but that was solid. That was a really fun build.